This is part 42 of Angular Grad tutorial. In this video, we will discuss how to subscribe to Angular route parameter changes and then execute some code in response to those changes. In our previous video, we discussed there are two ways to read route parameter values. We can either use the snapshot approach or the observable approach. We discussed the snapshot approach in our previous video. In this video, we will discuss the observable approach. At the moment, when we click on any of these employee panels, that respective employee ID is passed in the URL as a route parameter. The employee details component reads that route parameter value and then displays that specific employee details. At the moment, to read this route parameter value, we are using the snapshot approach. And this works fine because every time we want to view another employee details, we go back to the list employees component and from here we come to the employee details component. So the snapshot approach works fine if we navigate to another component before navigating from the current employee to the next employee. In our case, we are always navigating back to the list employees component before navigating to view another employee details. On the other hand, if you want the users to be able to navigate from employee to employee directly without navigating to the list employees component first, then we will have to use the observable approach. The snapshot approach will not work. Let me explain what I mean. On our employee details component, we want to include this view next employee button in the panel footer. So every time we click this button, we want to move from the current employee to the next employee. So in this case, we are moving from employee to employee directly without navigating to the list employees component. So to make this work, we will have to use the observable approach. Let's actually use this snapshot approach and see how our application behaves. First, let's include this view next employee button in the panel footer on our employee details component. At the moment, we have our employee details component view template open. And here is the panel footer div. So right here, let's include the button element and let's style this button using the bootstrap btn and btn dash primary classes. And the text on the button is view next employee. Notice the button is on the left hand side. We want it on the right hand side. So let's use pull right bootstrap class. Notice now the button is on the right side. When this button is clicked, we want to call a method on our component class. Let's name that method view next employee. We don't have this method yet. Let's create it. Let's introduce a private field within our class. I'm going to name it underscore ID and this is of type number. We're going to use this private field to keep track of this ID route parameter value. So in ng on init, let's initialize the private field instead of creating a separate constant and use that as a parameter for this get employee method. All right. So every time we click this view next employee button, we want to increment the employee ID value that we have in this private field and then redirect the user to this same route but with a different route parameter value. This view next employee method is called every time the button is clicked. So within the method, let's increment the ID value by one. And then we need to redirect the user to the same route. For that, we need the Angular router service. So let's inject it using the constructor. Let's call the private field underscore router. We don't have this imported yet. So let's use Visual Studio Code to import it for us automatically. Now let's use this injected router service and navigate the user to the same route. The path of the route is for slash employees and the route parameter value is present in the private field underscore ID. Now in our ng on init method, we are still using the snapshot approach to read the route parameter value. Let's save all our changes and see how our application behaves. Notice the route parameter value in the URL at the moment is one and every time we click this button, the value changes. 
but the employee details displayed on the page does not change. This is because the code that we have in this ng on the net is only executed when this component is first loaded and initialized. After that, every time we click this view next employee button, the route parameter value changes, but this component is not reinitialized, and hence the code that we have in this ng on the net is not executed. Now, if you want to react to route parameter changes and execute some code every time this route parameter value changes, then you will have to subscribe to those changes. So, in ng on init, instead of using the snapshot approach to read the route parameter value, let's use the observable approach. Now, on this activated route object, we have the param map property directly exposed. And if you look at the IntelliSense of this param map property, notice the return type. It is an observable. So let's subscribe to that observable. Since we are subscribed now, every time the route parameter value changes, we receive a notification. And when that happens, we want to execute some code. Now, if you look at this params parameter, it's of type param map. So we can use this get method on this object and then retrieve the ID parameter value. And we want to store that ID value in this private field underscore ID. We don't need this plus or equals anymore here. So let's delete that. And we want to convert the ID value to a number. So let's use the plus sign for that. And then we also want to move this line inside our subscription callback method. Notice the page doesn't display anything. Let's launch Browser Developer Tools and see what's going on. If we take a look at the console tab, cannot read property department of undefined. So basically this is complaining that the employee object is undefined. That's because if you look at the ID value right here, it is 6. We don't have an employee with ID 6 and that's the reason we are getting this error. If we take a look at our employee service, notice here we only have 3 employees and the maximum ID value is 3. So to fix this, within our view next employee method, If the ID value is less than 3, only then let's increment its value. Else, let's initialize back to 1. At the moment, it's still complaining about the same error because we still don't have employee with the ID 6. So let's go back to the list, clear the console. And now, when we click on this first employee, notice the employee ID value is 1. When we click this button, we go to the second employee. When we click it again, go to the third employee. And now it should go back to 1. So we no longer get that error. And every time we click this button, we see the next employee details. And to make this happen, we are using the observable approach instead of the snapshot approach. Now, in our application, we are using Angular version 5. So I'm using the subscribe method on the param map property. If you are using Angular 2, then you will not have the param map property on the activated route object. Instead, you will have to use the params property on that called the subscribe method. If you're using Angular 4 or above, then you will have the param map property because this is introduced in Angular 4. So when to use snapshot over observable and vice versa? Well, use the snapshot approach if the route parameter value does not change and you only want to read the initial route parameter value. On the other hand, you know the route parameter value changes and if you want to react and execute some code in response to that change, then use the observable approach. Another important point to keep in mind is whenever we subscribe to an observable, we also must unsubscribe from it. However, there are some exceptions to this rule. Activated route observable is one such exception. We don't have to explicitly unsubscribe from this observable because the Angular router takes care of that for us. That's it in this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.